Friends, welcome to this daily devotion. I'm Pastor Mark, and I have the privilege of serving the United Methodist Church of New Lenox, Frankfurt United Methodist Church, and Mokina United Methodist Church merged together. I ask that you center yourself, take a deep breath, focus on the power of the divine coming into your life today as we journey through this daily devotion together. Friends, hear the affirmation. The Lord is for me. I won't be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Psalm 118, verse 6. Would you be with me in an attitude of prayer? Dear Lord, it is often difficult to embrace your love when we face moments of trial. Transform our hearts so that we can trust you and do good no matter the circumstances. When it appears that wrongdoers are prospering, remind us that you are a God of justice Instead of desiring wrath, help us desire to grow more deeply in you. Rescue us, for we take refuge in you. Amen. Friends, our theme this week is time of trial. Part of our human experience, although not an easy one. And our anthology reading comes from Norman Chachuk. Will I be remembered? Will I be remembered even if my mind dies before my body? Yes. I will be remembered. Verna, our daughters, our family, and God will remember me. To be remembered is to be alive. Yet I pray for healing. I want more than to be remembered. I want to be healed. And I pray that healing may come before insanity. Certainly, I would choose death over insanity and mental incapacitation. So I pray each day, O God, heal me and hasten the day when a cure is found for Alzheimer's. Heal me or permit me to die before I am incapacitated or before I become too great a burden for Verna. Dear God, care for Verna in this time of trial and beyond. Care for my family and hold them close to yourself and to one another. This is my prayer. God bless that prayer from Norman. And that was not a um, fanciful prayer. I, I hope you realize that that was a prayer Norman wrote towards the end of his life. He died before this book was published from Alzheimer's. And yet he had the strength and and he was a man of great faith. To pray not only for his trial, but the trials of those around him. And to desperately pray for healing. Because why not? What? What what do you have to lose? What sadness comes? If you acknowledge the worst thing, but still hold on to hope and ultimately realize that in the end, God wins. Then pray for the best and you'll be able to live through the worst. a harrowing prayer and tough in the moment. So I appreciate Norman's courage and his witness and his legacy for all of us who go through similar times of trial. Our scripture reading today is Psalm 18. The uh, notes say, 
of David, the Lord's servant, who spoke the words of this song to the Lord after the Lord delivered him from the power of all his enemies and from King Saul. He said, I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my solid rock, my fortress, my rescuer. My God is my rock and I take refuge in him. He's my shield, my salvation strength, my place of safety. Because he is praiseworthy, I cried out to the Lord and I was saved from my enemies. Death's cords were wrapped around me. Rivers of wickedness terrified me. The cords of the grave surrounded me. Death's traps held me tight. In my distress, I cried out to the Lord. I called to my God for help. God heard my voice from his temple. I called to him for help. My call reached his ear. The earth rocked and shook. The bases of the mountains trembled and reeled because of God's anger. Smoke went up from God's nostrils. Out of his mouth came a devouring fire. Flaming coals blazed out in front of him. God parted the skies and came down. Thick darkness was beneath his feet. God mounted the heavenly creatures and flew. He soared on the wings of the wind. God made darkness cloak him. His covering was dark water and dense cloud. God's clouds went ahead, ahead of the brightness before him. Hail and coals of fire went too. The Lord thundered in heaven. The Most High made his voice heard with hail and coals of fire. God shot his arrows, scattering the enemy. He sent lightning, threw them into confusion. The seabeds were exposed. The earth's foundations were laid bare. At your rebuke, Lord, the angry blast of air coming from your nostrils. From on high, God reached down and grabbed me. He took me out of all that water. God saved me from my powerful enemy saved me from my foes, who were too much for me. They came at me on the very day of my distress, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out of wide open spaces. He pulled me out safe because he is pleased with me. The Lord rewarded me for my righteousness. He restored me because my hands are clean, because I kept the Lord's ways. I haven't acted wickedly against my God. His rules are right in front of me. I haven't turned away from him or any of his laws. I have lived with integrity before him. I've kept myself from wrongdoing. And so the Lord restored me for my righteousness because my hands are clean in his eyes. You deal faithfully with the faithful. You show integrity towards the one who has integrity. You are pure towards the pure, but towards the crooked, you're tricky. You are the one who saves people who suffer and brings down those with proud eyes. You are the one who lights my lamp. The Lord, my God, illuminates my darkness. With you, I can charge into battle. With my God, I can leap over a wall. God, his way is perfect. The Lord's word is tried and true. Is a shield for all who take refuge in him. Now really, who is divine except the Lord? And who is a rock but our God? Only God, the God who equips me in strength and makes my way perfect, who makes my step as sure as the deer, who lets me stand securely on the heights, who trains my hand for war so my arm can bend a bronze bow. You have given me the shield of your salvation. Your strong hand supported me. Your help has made me great. You let me walk fast and safe without even twisting an ankle. I chased my enemies and caught them. I didn't come home until I finished them off. I struck them down. They couldn't get up. They fell under my feet. You equipped me with strength for war. You brought my adversaries down underneath me. You made my enemies turn tail from me. I destroyed my foes. They cried for help. But there was no one to save them. They cried for help to the Lord. He didn't answer. I crushed them like dust blown away by the wind. I threw them out like mud dumped in the streets. You delivered me from struggles with many people. You appointed me the leader of many nations. Strangers come to serve me. After hearing about me, they obey me. Foreigners gravel before me. Foreigners lose their nerve. They come trembling out of their fortresses. But the Lord lives. Bless God, my rock. Let the God of my salvation be lifted high. This is the God who avenges on my behalf who subdues people before me, who delivers me from my enemies. Yes, you are lifted me. you've lifted me high above my adversaries. You delivered me from violent people. That is why I thank you, Lord. 
in the presence of the nations. That is why I sing praises to you. You are the one who gives great victories to your king, who shows faithful love to your anointed one, to David and his descendants forever. Amen. (laughs) David gets all excited and goes on and on. But times were tough. David was outnumbered. He was on the run, and not because he had done anything wrong besides trying to do the right thing. And fortunes turned. I love the imagery. The earth shook, and it you, that you can, I mean, you can have very mystical uh, or, or mythical uh, imagery, dragons and, and heavenly creatures, or just natural volcanoes and thunder and hailstorms. I mean, those, those two things sometimes kind of merge together, but this sense of, I cried out, I cried out to the Lord and from his throne in heaven, my prayer reached him. In times of trial, cry out. Your prayers will reach the Lord. Friends, today is a time of confession. It's good for our souls and spirits to let go of everything we're hanging on to, to turn back towards God, to ask for forgiveness, not only of God, but of others. So take time in silence, asking for God, confessing whatever's on your heart, letting go of the things that need to be let go. Friends, hear the good news. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. God remembers your sins and iniquities no more. Let yourself forgive and forget and ask for forgiveness of others and offer it freely. Let us pray the prayer that Christ taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Friends, I leave you with these words from John Wesley. O Lord, may nothing dwell in my soul but your pure love alone, till my every thought, word, and act be love. Yes, Lord, may your love possess me whole. You're my joy, my treasure, my crown. Until next time, friends, God bless. Goodbye. Amen.